Election Commission issues notification for second phase of 2019 Lok Sabha polls. 97 constituencies spread over 13 states and union territories will go to polls on April 18. MPCC members inspect arrangements at Hatta Kangjebung where AICC President Rahul Gandhi will be addressing an election rally tomorrow. KSO and KCA want to retaliate decision to shift model residential school from Kengjoy subdivision by boycotting allied political parties of government in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. And JSC and Mera Bhaibi Association's Lambas Chief Minister Nong Thung Bambi Rain for bringing an untimely disclosure closer to Pravesh Chanim, a murder case without justice. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. And I'm Lighting with Monica with the latest news updates. Election Commission has issued notification for second phase of Lok Sabha polls today. 97 constituencies spread over 13 states and union territories will go to polls in this phase on the 18th of this month of April. The last date of filing of nominations for this phase is 26th of March. The scrutiny will take place the next day, while tw March 29 is the last date for withdrawal of candidature. All 39 parliamentary constituencies from Tamil Nadu will go to polls in this phase. The other states and union territories where voting will take place in this phase are Karnataka, 14 seats, Maharashtra, 10 seats, Uttar Pradesh, 8, Assam, Bihar, Orisha, 5 seats each, Chhattisgarh and West Bengal, 3 each, Jammu and Kashmir, 2, and Manipur, Tripura and Puducherry, 1 seat each. Manipur Congress Committee MPCC will be holding a public meet at Hapta Kangjebung on March 20. President of All India Congress Committee AICC Rahul Gandhi is arriving this afternoon to address the rally. Manipur Congress Legislature Party CLP leader and former Chief Minister Okram Ibobi and MPCC President Kai Khangam along with Congress MLAs inspected the arrangements for tomorrow's public meet at Hapta Kangjebung today. Speaking to media on the sidelines, Okram Ibobi disclosed that Rahul Gandhi will convene a major party meet at Congress Bhavan for all state assembly constituencies, Congress unit presidents after paying tributes at Sahit Minar this evening. He further disclosed that an extended meeting for Congress, uh, Congress Committee BCC members will also take place. Okram Ibobi said Rahul Gandhi will speak on various issues concerning international, national and state level during the public meet scheduled for tomorrow. He also said the meeting will conclude around 1 p.m. after which Rahul Gandhi will head for Arunachal Pradesh. The CLP leader appealed to people of the state to attend the meet without fail. Gandhi Nehru ki family se North East, aduga particularly Manipur se mukhoi ki thamoi da har tas sahib tare amal layba. Adar matam puna makta Manipur ki praja singna particularly Congress party na request ta ubse mohi matam puna makta harau harau na adum lakning ba sahib tare ko. Aduna hayenge ayukta koi maasi sidal loerga aruna chanda amukcha kigada mene. Sidai da thieng amda baro da ide baro ta phatringe baro da gina pung ama adai phok manunda meeting si loshna ba na tausi. Tausiana, the Mina, Hybride, Manipurgi Praza, Pumna Magna, Sumaina, Rahul Gandhi, Zigi, Visit Asideda, Saruk Yabiu, Tabiu, Mahakna, Kari Kari, Hiram Gani, Hibise, International Issues, Adagi, National Issues, Reasoning Issues, and Manipur in particular, Kari Kari, Hiram Gani, Hibise, Mayamsu, Tanning and Gani and Kanze. President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee and former Deputy Chief Minister Kai Khangam termed the claims made by BJP of winning over 300 MP seats in the upcoming 2019 Lok Sabha election as absurd. He was speaking to media on the sidelines of the same inspection visit at Hatta Kangjebung this afternoon. He asserted that BJP will hardly get 200 seats in the election. 
Gai Kangam also said it is now well known that people in the country will suffer more and the country might even disintegrate if BJP ever comes to power in the centre again. Or BJP, what do they mean? And now, what do you want to send in Melubunga? But what not to the call? Let it train to the ID 200 to Yobunga Mudra Hive City. I did sing never. India, I'm a punk putting motor meeting it at the Salubakanda. Me put them on the high level. Masiki, uh, Sashwan is a queen, Saturday. Lebaxi Mutpatare, Pazasi, Yam, Wabatare had a call. And Masikumba, Sashwan Matas, Matasi, two such children to men, long not even a question call out, you go Pazaki call out. President of All India Congress Committee, AICC, Rahul Gandhi reached Imphal this afternoon and paid floral tributes at Sahit Minar. Congress notice in charge, Falero, President of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee, Gai Kangam, CLP leader Congr uh, Okram Ibobi and executive members of MPCC accompanied the AICC president. After the floral tribute, Rahul Gandhi went through Kwaramban Market and greeted the vendors and people in the market. The ICC president was accorded a warm welcome by women vendors at Kwaramban Market. People thronged to get a glimpse of Rahul Gandhi and some even shook hands with the Congress president. Later, he headed over towards Manipur Congress Bhavan to attend Congress party meeting. It is reported that Rahul Gandhi might stay at Hotel Imphal tonight. Additional Chief Electoral Officer Ranjit Singh held a review meeting in view of the upcoming 2019 Lok Sabha elections at the Office of District Election Officer Kam DC Chandil Krishna Kumar today. Ranjit Singh interacted with district election officials including SP Amrita Shinha, ADC, ASP, SDO, SDC and district nodal officers in the midst. The additional chief electoral officer also inspected ongoing election-related training programs and checked the condition of election counting hole in the district. Observers for monitoring expenses for the upcoming Lok Sabha's outer and inner parliamentary constituencies elections instructed election officials to stay alert. Outer observer B.K. Singh and Vijay Kumar held a meeting with the outer expenditure officer, flying squad and static surveillance team FS and SST, video surveillance team VST, video viewing team and election officials and instructed on their duties at the counting hall of Thobal DC office. In a parliamentary elections, observer Subodh Singh also held a meeting with Imphal East District Election Expenditure and Monitoring Sale Officials. Imphal East Commando Team under the supervision of additional SP operations, Imphal East Police, TH Krishnatombi conducted surprise cordon and search operations at Palace Gate from 8.50 to 9.15 this morning. 85 men were verified during the operation, out of which six individuals without proper identification proofs were handed over to Porompat Police Station for further verification. A combined team of DSP operations, DSP Commando 11, OC Commando Vishnupur, OC Loktak Police Station, OC Morang Police Station, OC Kumbi Police Station, OC PGCI Police Station and OC Wabagai Police Station under additional SP operations and 42nd Assam Rifles conducted cordon and search operations at Kwakta Ward No. 4 from 4.30 to 6.20 this morning. 250 individuals were verified and nine license guns re recovered during the operation were handed over to Morang Police Station.
Cookie Students Organization KSO Chandel and Cookie Chief Association KCA have warned to impose 48-hour general strike in Chandel district and to block Imphal Moray Road by March 25 if the proposed model residential school in Kangjoi subdivision is shifted to Chandel district headquarter. Speaking to media at Cookie Inn, in presence of representatives of KSO Chandel and KCA, KCA Vice President Ngam Kholan Haukip stated that King Joy's subdivision is lagging behind in education sector. He condemned that after announcing to establish a school in the subdivision, the government decided to shift the site of the proposed school sponsored by MOBC. He warned of calling general strike in the district and to block Imphal Moray Road if the government fails to withdraw its decision by March 25. The vice president also warned of boycotting all allied political parties of the present government by people of Kengjoy, KSO, Chandel and KCA in the upcoming election if the government fails to consider their demand. Go to village da na koi na problem leiva, masi kumba na koi hairamo haibigi matang sita, masi ki jarabati, CM sab na sujam na chingi aba aba chingi ningtho aba aba chingi student sing school kabang am taba masi kumba matang si CM na masi su jam na lowiraga, ekoi ki chief assistant sing KSO sing na dekoi stobi matang sita chief assistant CM na su dekoi su oina payana. Mapa masih ada tu view hari na, koi cip esensin, kengzoi blok di cip esensin nasu, jam na epil tu jadi. Manipur Lomi Lop in a press release condemned the appointment of an MCS officer without adequate technical know-how of agriculture as agriculture director, bringing immense plight to the people of the state with 80% farmers. Residents of Jogzang Tek Lambung. Village in Noni District Block in Falkopum wrote in protest against the alleged vandalization of agriculture implements by some miscreants from the neighboring Nungsai village. Speaking to media, Chief of Jogzangtek Lambung Village, Hen Kopau Haukip, stated that they hugely, they hugely depend on agriculture for livelihood. He alleged that some miscreants of the neighboring village of Nungsai cut off water pipes, vandalized their farm huts, destroyed their crops, and even stole some goods on late Sunday night. Stating similar incidents occurred before, the village chief declared indefinite blockade on Imphal Kaupum Road and no entry for Nungsai villagers in Lambung village until the situation is resolved. He urged the relevant authorities to punish the culprits involved in the fall place. Nungsai hai ba khun se, khun ani si ki marakta moi na phata ba thogok maya amba thogan ba maya amse moi na kastom ki matung inna koi da ma ni ba adum ba kopiu hai ba ki wahe makakta hai dri phau ba da khun ani siu moi bu lanhan da ba sanhan da ba saman da ba si ni adu bu si ki thogok si di kana adum ba kanglu ba matena si da involve tau bi da ba jati ki moi na lobi da ba jo ki anki ka nungsai khakta ki wapa moi na lobi o hai ba si ay na apilu tau zaba ni. JC against the suspicious death of Pravesh Chanam and Mayra Paibi associations have strongly condemned Chief Minister Nung Thongbambi Rain for failing to keep his promise of handing over Pravesh Chanam murder case to the CBI. They termed the Chief Minister as a deceiver for the untimely closure of the case, even without handing it over to the CBI and without bringing any justice to the victim. It may be recalled that Pravesh Chanam, a student from Uripok Achom Lekai, was found dead in a mysterious circumstances in September of 2017 in Noida, Uttar Pradesh. Speaking to media at the residence of late Pravesh Chanam, JAC convener L. Pishu termed it unfortunate that you people is submitted a final report of the case to the concerned court instead of finding the truth behind the death and bringing justice to the victim. Stating that intense bun and blockades were called off following assurances by the Chief Minister to bring justice, he warned of intense agitation in the near future. Taking part in the press meet, General Secretary of Poirai Laimarol Mayra Paibi Apunba Manipur, TH Apabi, termed Chief Minister Birain as unfit to be a leader. She warned of intense agitation jointly carried out by civil society organizations of the state against mishandling of the mysterious deaths. State government, UP government, 
अकंब इंस्ट्रक्शन तो दुना थी दो लगा मरी लेने वाले सिंपु थोपने हम दवा है बसे यूपी गवर्नमेंट की मखाद है मणिपुर की गवर्नमेंट ने चीज लाई बनी है ना लोग दबंग हमारे मरो मधुना अथवा मतलब दा शिकुंबा मणिपुर की मचामस मतलब मंगल कंधे ना लोग तुमने भी हार अमदा हार की बसे मरी लेने ना मणिपुर गवर्नमेंट ने Sinaduna asum belalang sin putok terbudi masih dah fata nung dah masih dah fata nung dah miang gigi pun action kami tiada di mana pun miang gigi khusyuk nung miang di fata bangun dah di tholok pun fata tu kedua mak mana pun kau mana logo tu ni hai na gigi pun action kami tiada di mana pun miang gigi mak kita gigi thamsa nih. Prescribed Maoist Communist Party Manipur in a press release holds Catholic Schools Authority major accountability for the ongoing conflicts between Catholic schools and a rebel group. It says the Catholic Schools Authority in the beginning of 2018 session announced to grant admission to 10 children from families of armed conflicts in Catholic schools from class 2 to class 6. It also clarified that prescribed Kangli Park Communist Party People's War Group has been urging Catholic Schools Authority to implement the announcement and not for personal favor in granting admission to their children. The press release declared that Maoist Communist Party, Manipur KCP People's War Group and KCPMC Lanchenba Kanglup have jointly imposed a ban on Catholic schools and their affiliations henceforth. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on Women Action for Development presenting Best Reporting Award 2018 on Crime Against Women and Children from Gender Perspective. Keep watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Prime Time English News. Women Action for Development Award gave away Best Reporting Award 2018 on Crime Against Women and Children from Gender Perspective at Classic Grande in Chingmerong today. Four other journalists selected by award were also conferred upon Promising Reporters Award. Advisor of the Domestic Violence Survivor Forum, Zina Kumuzam, Pradhan of White Owned Gram Panchayat, Pukrambam Surbala, Convener of Conflict Widow, Forum Manipur, Kongkham Gangarani, and Secretary of Christian Network of Positive Women, Wong Chung Zazo, graced the event. Speaking on the occasion, Watch Secretary M. Sovita stated that the felicitation ceremony was organized to appreciate and acknowledge the contributions of journalists of the state in bringing awareness on crime against women and children. Mediana, low in the top of the city, the issue of Yamba, Yansi, and Tanner, but the Gihana is who means in the carpet for Kada, no longer the number to my name, but the Gim, the Akima Tengi, Hariba crimes in a system report of Hindalapa, Atudei, or Manipuda, Sukiana, Nupim Sung Ananda, or Panayan, Saturday, Hibasi, and the Superzana Kanga, the Pogolina, Tonganto number, groups in civil societies, the Gi, and Jews, the Gi, Mayansin, so what to down, no longer. President of Extrajudicial Execution Fam Victim Families Association, Manipur, IFAM, Renu Takalambam has urged United Nations Human Rights Council to remove AFSPA from Manipur and to remove the vested powers upon security forces of India involved in fake encounter cases. She raised the concerns representing non-governmental organization Prahar during a debate held on follow-up to an implementation of the Vienna Declaration and Program of Action in the ongoing 14th session of Human Rights Council at Geneva in Switzerland yesterday. Renu stated that women folk of North states are facing immense hardships due to such conflicts. She maintained that many women were left widowed due to the deaths of husbands and fake encounter Surviving family members are dubbed as families of terrorists and hence remained deprived of government schemes and their children are deprived of education. In Manipur, India, these widows came together and moved to the Supreme Court to seek justice. Following a landmark judgment by Apex Court, few criminal investigations have been initiated and trusted have been submitted against the perpetrators. However, Section 197 of Indian Penal Court and Section 6 of Armed Forces Special Power Act, the government has to grant prosecution sanction for the criminal trial to proceed. The monumental struggle for the justice of these widows is today unduly delay due to non grantings of the prosecution sanctions. Wanji Ibu Yaima from Wangkai Thangabad, Mapal was allegedly prevented from offering ceremonial rituals at Kaina Shrine due to land disputes in October of 2018. 
following which Boyaima filed a case at Manipur Human Rights Commission against violation of Indian Constitution Article 25, Freedom of Religion and Article 19 Clause D, Freedom of Movement. MHRC started the proceedings on the case on March 18 this year. As per the proceedings, DGP and DC Imphalist were instructed to take necessary actions against such restrictions. Manipur State Committee expressed deep condolences on the untimely demise of Communist Party of India Marxist leader Vairopam Mangojao, who took an active role in inclusion of Manipuri language in the 8th schedule of Indian constitution and in establishment of Manipur Ayan Sabha and Vidhan Sabha. The committee members paid floral tributes at his portrait and observed two minute silence as a mark of respect to the late leader at his residence in Pukhau Khabam, Awanglekai. Seven day training program on protected cultivation of high value vegetable and the rural huge scale, which started on March 13, concluded at training hall of KVK Vishnupur today. Krishi Vigyan Kendra Bishnupur, State Agriculture Management Extension Training Institute and National Institute of Agriculture Extension Management jointly organized the training program. Principal Scientist and Director KVK Vishnupur, Dr. R.K. Imotomba, Subject Matter Specialist Training Coordinator P. Bijaya attended the event. Speaking to media, Dr. R.K. Imotomba stated that the program aimed to enlighten farmers how to enhance productivity with inputs by KVK scientists. Certificates of the training program were also distributed to the farmers in the event. Public Health Engineering Department in a press release stated that Moirang Khom and Chinga water supply will not be able to provide water for some time due to extreme low water levels of the Imphal River. A motivational program for students on empathy, curiosity, creativity, sociability, self-awareness, resourcefulness, resilience and integrity was held at Kangabok today. Wisdom Foundation School Kangabog organized the program at the school campus. Taking part in the event as a resource person, social scientist Danavir Lashram stressed on the expected roles of students, youth and teachers and parents in today's social scenario. Uniforms, books and i-cards were distributed to students of Sinam Nodia Upper Primary School in Thamaiban today. ZEO Zone 1 A1, Elina Soibam, President of School Development Committee, P. Mangi and Executive Members of Naharo Laisemba Club Thamaiban attended the event. A little over 65 students are studying in the class uh, from class 1 to 8 at the school. Speaking on the occasion, Elena Soibam urged the school teachers to put in unceasing efforts to make the students successful in life. Apollo Tires Limited has opened its new retreat center at Tera Yambe Mlekai Sagolban Tera, Tera Bazaar today. Divisional Heads of Apollo Tires Limited, Gautam Roy, Regional Business Unit Service Heads of Apollo Tires Limited, Sanjay Das, and officials of Apollo Imphal Retreat Zone attended the opening ceremony. Speaking on the occasion, Divisional Head of Apollo Tires Limited, Gautam Roy, asserted that Apollo Tires is a leading tire manufacturing company of India. He said that with the new retread com concept, used and old tires will be renewed for cost effectiveness and longevity. He assured that quality retreading center will be provided to truck and bus owners at the newly opened unit equipped with sophisticated retreading machines that use high quality material and operated by trained workers. This is the first time in Manipur or Imphal, you can say, is uh, this facility is coming. We are the largest tire manufacturer in the country today, Apollo Tires, and this service is provided by us. These machines are designed by us. 
the material what we will be using for retreading these tyres are made by us, the compound and the process both. So, it will give service as good as a new tyre and it will reduce the cost of operation of all the truck and bus operators who are plying their vehicles here. They will be able to save money because this is a commercial purpose. That is the main intention and they will get good quality. State Archaeology Kangla in a press release informed that all the three gates of Kangla Fort will be opened on March 21 and 22 in view of Yaksung Sports torch lighting. Now the sports news. Assam Rifles Archery team attached to nine sector Assam Rifles and the IGAR South back one gold, three silver and four bronze medals in the 39th NTPC Senior National Archery Championship. Eight men and four women archers along with All India Police Sports Control Board AIB SCB represented Manipur State Archery Team in the championship. 37 teams from various states took part in the championship held at Katak in Orissa from March 9 to 18. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Election Commission issues notification for second phase of 2019 Lok Sabha polls. 97 constituencies spread over 13 states and union territories will go to polls on April 18. MPCC members inspect arrangements at Hatakang Jibung where AICC President Rahul Gandhi will be addressing an election rally tomorrow. KSO and KCA want to retaliate decision to shift model residential school from Kengjoy subdivision by boycotting allied political parties of government in the upcoming Lok Sabha polls. And JSC and Mera Paibi Association's lambast Chief Minister Nongthong of Birain for bringing an untimely closure to Pravishchanam murder case without justice.